So one day I was sitting in geometry class and my teacher said, if you guys should date any uh, shape, date a square, because they got all the features of the quadrilaterals. And I'm like, you know what, yeah, I probably will end up dating a square. Meaning that both, like, literally and... Literally. Like, actually. <laughs> uh, of course, I'm gonna say, uh, I would totally date a square. Because it's a square. It's got all the features of quadrilaterals. It's got that. Um, I am going to say pass on a circle, because they will just ghost you. They don't have any support. There's just, they're just gonna roll away. So, yeah, that's that. Okay, next, um, I'm gonna say smash triangle. And while we're on the topic, right triangle as well. I did not draw that well. So, equilateral and right triangles, I think both would be very good. Both have that support, and I feel like they're just, you know, they're literally the strongest shape in nature. I'd say I'd pass on a scalene triangle, because it's just too, um, it's too unorganized, you know? Because, like, yeah, I'm the unorganized one in this shape relationship, or shapelinship, or <laughs> relation shape, there we go. Okay, so another shape that I would totally date is the hexagon. I really like the hexagon, because, um, I did not draw that well, but I like hexagons because of the way that you can make them. That, that actually sounds really awful. Just from, like, a compass. Uh, my math teacher told me that. Uh, shout out to my math teacher. I'm not gonna say your name on the internet because I respect people's privacy. I get weird vibes from... Uh, heptagons, septagons, whatever the freak you want to call them. I don't like these that much. Like, I feel like this would be the creep of, um, shape. I am currently split on the heart. I'm gonna say yes for right now, but maybe not, because it's because it doesn't have, like, a lot of support. It's always going to, like, fall to either side. So that might be a deal breaker, but I might just have to get some experience on that one. The star, however... The oval. Why does this exist? Like, really, what's the point? What can you do with an oval? Nothing. I'm going to add the pentagon to the pass section because I don't know what it is but I really just don't like odd numbered uh, shapes so that's why I'm gonna say that uh, in the smash section I'm gonna add the octagon. This shape likes to take things slow probably because you know stop signs and yada yada. Isosceles triangles I just thought of isosceles triangles into the pass category Because I feel like they're the type of shapes that can get, like, they're like they're in a friend group and they can, they're like the one that just disagrees with everything. And I don't get it. Semicircle. I feel like this one, I feel like this one has everything that a circle has. It's just like, it's more stable. It's perfect. I just realized I forgot the rest of the quadrilaterals. So I'm going to say... Uh, date rectangle, date parallelogram, and pass on rhombus, and pass on, no, date isosceles trapezoid, and pass on, um, non-isosceles trapezoid. All right. Uh...